Hello guys. So right now we will see what items we can add to our map. If you go to the course, if you go to the course data folder, you will see that you have a folder called ArcGIS Online and Enterprise. When you open it, you will see that you have different folders inside of here and inside of each folder, you will see that you have some shapefile as a zip file. So for example here, I change it all the layers in here to a zip file. In order to do that, as we saw before, like for example here in Atlanta, you should select all the files that have the name of your layer or shapefile and right click and say send to compress as zip file. And then after you change it to a zip file, you can add it to your item. But you cannot add a shapefile unless you do this step. So if we go back here and we open the attachment, you will see that you have some images. You can also add any image, but you have to add it as a zip file. And if we go back here and go to the California shape files, you will see that I already changed it, all of them to be a zip file. So I have easy upload to my content. And here other files, we have KML, we have GPX, we have CSV. You cannot upload a GPX, you can add a KMZ and you can add a CSV and we cannot add text. So there's some items that we cannot upload as an item and some items we can upload it without zipping it but at any time if you want to add any kind of item images documents any kind of files even a geo database you can zip it and upload it as a zip file and you define the type of this file you upload and we have a packages folder here and here we need to add a map package and a layer package to upload it to our content. And the way to create a layer package, we will use ArcGIS Pro to show you how can you create a map package or a layer package. So here we have our map. We can uh, go to share and go to map package. And here, instead of saying upload package to online account, I want to save it as a file. So I will save this one as a package and I will save it in my packages folder right here. I'll say open and I will name this one Atlanta. And this is a map package and the map package will include everything in the map. So if you have a lot of layers, it will include all these layers. It will include all the data and it, it will include all the symbology and the changes you did on ArcGIS Pro. So when I save it here as a map package, I'll give it a summary and tag and I will say package. And this will take a couple minutes to convert it to a package. But once it's done, I will see that when I go to my packages folder, right here you will see that we have one file created right here and we can upload this file to arcgis online as a map package here it's done so let's see how can we do a layer package so the map package will include all the layers in, on your map the layer package will include only one layer so let's create a layer package for the intersections layer and here i'll say i want to save it as a file package and as you see here it have a different format and I will take this one, save it as summary tags, and I will save it inside package folder right here. I'll call it intersections and click save, and then we'll package it. And that will create a layer package for me that I can add to my ArcGIS online content. So when I go back here, you will see that now we have a map package and we have a layer package and you will find this files already on your course data folder, but I just want to show you how can you create it. So let's now go back to our ArcGIS online and start adding our content. In California, we will add the shape files we have. So here we will come and say add from computer and we will choose a file to upload and we will go to our course data folder and California shape files. And I will choose my zip file one by one and I will choose this one first. I'll say OK. And it's automatically asking you if it's a zip file, what kind of content inside the zip file. And here you see that you can add a shape file, but you have to add it to a zip file first. You can upload a geo database and we will do that in a minute. You can add a desktop application template. You can add map template, geoprocessing sample, code sample, and any of these options right here. So when you add a zip file, because ArcGIS Online doesn't know what's inside this zip file, you define and you say this is a shape file and you choose shape file from here. Let's call it cities and tag California. And we will say add item. And as you see here, I added this item inside my California folder. And after I uploaded my item, it opens the item details and we will check the item details in another video. So we have more focus on it. But right now let's go to the content. And now I have my shapefile uploaded to my California folder. 
And one very important thing to keep in mind that this is just a zip file. So if you tried to add this zip file to your map, it's not going to work. So let's try to do that and add this layer to the map. Here, let's open a new map. And when I go to my new map and I try to add data from my layers, you will not be able to find uh, the content that you just uploaded. So here you cannot find any shape files or you cannot find this file we just uploaded. But we know that this is a shape file. So how can I add this shape file to my map? So if I try to add a zip file right here, I can go and add from a file like we did before. Let's say for example, I will, I will add the Orange County cities. I'll say open. And then now I can add this shape file to my map directly from my computer but I cannot add it from my content. The way to add it to your content, you need to add it to your map first and then go to the details, go to the content and then choose the layer you want to save. And you come here and save it as a layer and you save it to your folder. So let's save it to California, add the tag California, create item, and that will save this shape file as a feature layer inside my content. So right now when I go back to the California and I refresh this page you will see that we have two different types of content this is very important I know it's a little bit confusing but it's very important to understand when you add a zipped shapefile to your content directly it will be considered as a zip file ArcGIS Online is not going to see it as a feature layer but if you want to add it as a feature layer you need to go to add it to your map first and then save the layer as a feature layer so keep in mind the same zipped shapefile you can add it on the map and you can add it on the content but in order to have it as a feature layer you need to add it to the map first and then save it as a layer i know it's a little bit confusing but that's how it is and it's uh, it's kind of work around so now you know the difference between adding a shapefile to your map and adding a shapefile to your content so now let's go back to Atlanta and try to add different kind of content. So this time we will add the layer package and the map package we created earlier. I will choose the file from the packages and I will add my map package. I'll say open and give the tag Atlanta and say enter, add item. And you will see right now that I will have a new item in my content when I go back to my content that I have a map package item it automatically figured out that this is a map package and here's the icon for the map package. Now let's add the layer package. I'll add the layer package and I will give it Atlanta. Add item. And when we go back to the content, you will see that I have a different type of data called layer package and here's the icon for the layer package. So right now here I have a shape file, I have a feature layer. I have a map package, I have a layer package, and they are organized in the right folder. But if I want to see all the content, I will go back to all content here and I will see everything. And now let's go back to our root folder and add some other types like CSV or KML. Here you can add a CSV file. Go to choose files and we will go to other files and we will add this CSV file. Say open. And here we will add tag others and we will add the item and it will be added to our root folder. Every time you add an item, it will open the item details and we will go through the item details in another video. But now let's focus on the content we have right here. And let's add another item. Let's say we add a KMZ file. Here we have a KMZ, say open. We'll give it the tag same as the other one. Say add item and it will add this file as a KMZ file. And every kind of item you add, uh, whether you configure it or not, sometimes ArcGIS Online figure it out. Sometimes you need to, to define what type of data you are uploading, but it automatically figured out that this is a KML file and this is a CSV file. So right now let's go back to all our content so we can compare all these items together. Here we have all the content we just uploaded right now. Uh, here we have a web map. This is how the web map looks like. This is how a feature layer looks like. And this is the icon for the feature layer. And when you see this icon, that means you can add it to your map. So right now we have the KML file having the same icon. And we have all these three feature layers. And we have this feature layer right here. So now we have one, two, three, four, five items that we can add it to our map. 
so when we go to the map and we go add from layers you'll see that we have the five layers that have this icons one two three four five so again the layers you can add to your map is the ones that have this icon and all these layers have this icon the other type here we have a shape file that we just uploaded from our computer right here and this one you cannot add it to the map but this one can be shared with anyone so if I change the sharing here to everyone or I share it with a certain group this people or anyone can download this file so if I want to share my shape file with you and I just want to send it to you I can upload it here and send it to you very similar to add it to an email and send it to you by email there is no different but if I want to give you the ability to add it to your map I need to upload it to my map and save it as a feature layer and then you can add it to your map directly also here the map package and the layer package very similar to how the shapefile is you cannot add it to any map or you cannot view it on ArcGIS online you just add it here in order for someone to download it or open it in ArcGIS Pro or ArcGIS desktop and for the CSV file same thing it's just a CSV file or an Excel file that you upload here in order for someone to download it so there's difference between the items that you can add to your map and between the items that you can just upload it to share it with anyone so I think that covers how you can differentiate between data you can add to your map and data or items you can just upload it right here also you can upload a geodatabase if you have a geodatabase and you uh, compressed it in a zip file you can add it uh, right here also and it, it will be type geodatabase so if you want to add a file geodatabase or any geodatabase you need to do the same thing you did with the shapefile you go to the folder location so let's try to find any of the geodatabases we used before let's open Atlanta and here we have the geodatabase right here and as you see inside of it so many different files so you right click and say uh, send to compressed file and you will have your geodatabase as a zip file now you can go to ArcGIS online add an item go to this folder location here in ArcGIS master Atlanta and we have the zip file right here we can open it and now it will ask you is this a ship file or what type of data inside this zip file and we know it's a file geodatabase so I will choose this one I'll say Atlanta choose it and I will add the item and it will be added as a geodatabase but again you cannot add it to your map you can just download it or anyone you share it with can download it but here the icon is different between all the other icons and here the name is file geodatabase and there's one more item that we will see how it will look like when we create it which is the web app when we create a web app by doing this option right here or convert any web map to a web app we will see how this icon looks like in this list so that's it for this video now you know how can you add your items and what type of items you can add to your content and also what is the difference between adding a shapefile as a file and adding your shapefile as a feature layer through the map and in the next video we will check the details for each item of this different items and we will see what can we do in the item details window so thank you so much and if you have any questions please let me know and we'll see you in the next video